Goodness can be found in encouraging greatness at the Junior Runners Academy in Soweto. Pick and pay, always there for you. Most families have medicine stocked in the home for unforeseen circumstances like a cut or a headache. But what are the ideal items that all of us should have in our medicine cabinets? Let's go find out. Every household needs to keep a number of basic over-the-counter medications to treat common ailments or provide relief until you or your loved one can be examined by a doctor. Friends, are we not always certain which medicines to keep in the home for when something happens that we're not expecting? Mm. Um, what would you suggest? I've actually got a few examples here that I can show you that I think every household should have in their medicine cabinet just for the times when you can't get to a doctor or you can't get to a pharmacy that you have that available. First of all, a painkiller. Usually something that contains paracetamol for headaches, mild aches and pains, but also an anti-inflammatory, especially for when you've hurt a muscle or you've slept funny and you've got a sore neck, as well as a nice oil that you can rub in to help with stiff muscles. We always find that we, in the middle of the night or before you go to bed, you end up with indigestion. You might have gone out for supper and had a nice meal, come home and now you've got problems. I would suggest a good antacid in your medicine cabinet, something for diarrhea, because you don't want to run every five minutes the whole night to the bathroom. Usually something for cramps as well, and then nausea. And these would also help for heartburn if it's quite bad. This time of the year especially, people suffer from hay fever. Uh, kids would come home, they've been playing outside, and they're scratching and itching, and it's the worst to be in bed at night and you're itching and there's nothing that you've got that can help. So a good antihistamine tablet would be a good choice and also an antihistamine cream. Obviously with all the tablets that I've shown, you would have medicine syrups for your children if they're younger than 12. You often find at night you might have a post-nasal drip and you've got an irritating cough that keeps you awake. So a cough mixture that will soothe that cough and help you get through to the next day that you can go see your doctor. Also something for a flu, headache, cold feeling that can just get the symptoms under control till you can go to your doctor would be a good idea. And then of course, no house should be without something for burns. I would keep a good cooling gel so that if you burn in the kitchen or the kids have burned that you can immediately apply that before you go to the doctor get a nice burn shield pack as well that you can use every household should have a good antiseptic cream for the cuts and grazes and then of course you should always keep some bandages some swabs and plasters at home as well where's the best place to store the medicine because it's medicine you have to keep it in a cool dark place so maybe in the bathroom maybe in your bedroom or in a spare room cupboard but always make sure that it is out of reach of children that it's high up where the children can't get hold of it should we regularly check the medicine or replace mm. it and, and why is it a good idea medicine can expire and you don't want to get your medicine cabinet to take some tablets and see that it's expired so every three to four months check see where you need to fill up because you might have used the last of the ointment or tablets the last time you use it visit the experts at your local pick and pay pharmacy for more advice and make sure your household is ready for those everyday medical situations